Nicky Gumbo, he tells these very funny jokes. And I'm telling you how he acts full this huge church. Well, that's wonderful. Because what this program is, it's all about you and your relationship with God. And when you have that relationship with God, you are magnificently happy and very well provided for. And he tells you about praying, that some people uh, don't feel comfortable praying. You want to know why? Well, that's because uh, there's an obstruction. Uh, you've done something wrong. And uh, so you just sit down and remove it. And you can pray. Uh, you just say, I've done this wrong, I admit it, I acknowledge it, it was a foolish thing to do, it makes me feel bad all over, I want to uh, atone for it, I want to uh, make up for it, I want to restitute for it. That's the first step, if you're sick. And if you're not sick. Um, so, night after night, I think there's uh, about 15 videos. Nikki Gumbo. Oh, it's really good. Well, let's see. Is there anything else to tell you about him? He was antithetical to Christianity for a long time, most of his life. And he didn't come from a church going family. But, he certainly loves Christianity now. He said that other churches uh, were growing, but that the Church of England was in rapid decline. And it was even rumored that God had left the Church of England in some magazine in England made a spoof of this and that was pretty funny and uh, and they made believe quote an Anglican uh, clergyman the head Anglican clergyman as saying that God has left the church of England is a bit of a blow but We'll just have to live with it. But for what Nicky Gumbold's doing, people are coming back to the Church of England. That's nice. And it would really touch you. And uh, I'd try to find a church or anybody else who's having the Alpha program. A-L-P-H-A. And I would go to it. Because what do I want for you more than anything else? I want you to be 100% happy. Happy, full, and healthy. Uh, folks, Esther Barron, uh, the woman from whom the courts stole tens of thousands of dollars. You know, everything the court does is a racket, but one of the worst rackets is a guardianship court and they get an elderly person who has money and then they set up a guardianship a court guardian uh, to get that money and they spend that money and they divvy it out among themselves and uh, Mary Garfolo's exposure of uh, Jeffrey O'Connell, the Nassau Supreme Court and Sam Rausman and all their accomplices was so devastating that Rousman stepped down as a guardian and uh, he his lawyer asked uh, the new judge of course uh, O'Connell didn't win and I will take credit for that along with Andy McCullough because we exposed what he did like Spitzer uh, being exposed and Rosman's lawyer asked the new judge, Iannucci, 
uh, to uh, make Esther return the money that Esther had given her grandchildren. But it was denied. And the court is out of it. Uh, Esther's guardians are now Joseph, Varen, and her daughter. And it's now a family affair. So Esther won through the letter that she wrote to Channel 5, Mary Garofolo. And Mary Garofolo did such a good job of exposing this ring. And also another one in New Haven, Connecticut. And I heard of another one last night, Mary Garofolo. I heard of another one, Mary. The estate of a woman named Mrs. Place. Place, P-L-A-C-E, in uh, Rye, New York. If you want another one, Mary Garofolo, there it is. So I commend you, Annie McKenna and Mary Garofolo, upon the monumental job that you did and your effectiveness in exposing this greed and corruption in the Nassau County Supreme Court and the Guardianship Court. Go to the surrogate court, you'll find exactly the same greed and corruption. In fact, and in family court, and in criminal court, and all of the courts. One of the reasons I'm not going to sue the people down in Maryland is that we don't have any courts to sue them in. So I think that's all up to date. If you have any announcements, please help. Let me know because I want to help you. But most of all, I want you to be 100% happy, whole, and healthy, and one with God, all power. by Mattel? <laughs> no. <laughs> Saved message, one. All right, Glenny, good evening. This is Joe Cronin at Lindeners. Actually, not in Lindeners. I'm calling from my sister's house in uh, Valley Stream, but I'm on the cell phone. Anyway, uh, the show in, in the Woodbury Cable was number 4830-6. tonight as usual. Uh, it was the show with uh, Ann McKeon, who is uh, a very excellent reporter, it sounds like. That's McKenna. About the guardianship. And the date is right. We're showing a picture of the uh, the rat uh, O'Connell, and uh, he's, uh, I'll tell you, what goes on with that, with the courts and that guardianship is just unbelievable. Everybody runs for liars for hire, and, and it really doesn't sound too good. It seems that, uh, the, like, like, like they say, it's uh, it's all about the money. That seems to be the bottom line with everything, the money and, and and everything else. Unfortunately, that's the way of a lot of things, and especially in that county of Nassau, which has probably the uh, the worst judicial system in the country. Uh, all I, I have no faith at all in any courts or any lawyers or any any politicians anymore. But anyway, I hope everything is going well. You take good care of yourself and uh, uh, have a great night. And I'll talk soon. Thank you. Bye bye now. I haven't heard from you. Mr. Varen. Hoping everything is good. I'm just calling to tell you not too much is new, but. 
but I do miss you, and I hope you're okay. And I'd like to talk to you when you have a chance. Take care, Glendora. I'll see you, sweetheart. Bye-bye. Be the old Route 9. Somebody told me it used to be... Oh, we used to walk this all the time with the dog. Was it I the old Route 9? Yes, we did, because remember there was the dog fight? No, I don't remember. Maybe because Lisa and I went, but there was a dog fight. Okay. With, with, with Duke and... and uh, maybe it was Fred, I don't know. I remember we used to walk this. Was this the old Route 9? I don't know. Was this the old Route 9? I know you babysat here one time. I did. Somebody I told me know. that this was the old Route 9, and I don't believe it is. So... Because there's not enough on it. Well, we knew people back there too, huh? Yeah, but I don't yeah, remember coming back. No, but we knew the people in the, some people in the back road here, I remember. Well, I know that you kids used to go yeah, on the back road. Because you said we couldn't go on the main road. Yeah, we could go on the back road, though. We couldn't go on the main road. You said we could go on the back road. Yeah, but I'm surprised there are not. There's no houses. We're on Route 9 going south toward Hudson, New York, to the last service of St. John's Lutheran Church, going out of business. Church building is to be sold. No aerosol. We haven't had aerosol for quite a few days. And I believe this is the ninth sunny day. St. Mary's Catholic Church. Hi, Sean. Sean, you brave young man. St. John's Lutheran Church, Hudson, New York.
is not here. <laughs> so, I'll bring but you, you can bring greetings from Marie. And I think there are a couple of letters from former pastors that will be read. You have those. Okay. So there will be a time in the service when those are read. Uh, <clears throat> trying to think of what else we should cover at the moment. Are there announcements that need to be made by the community? There don't appear to be so. One last announcement, then we will commune. Oh, Kirk has reminded me of something. I'll get to that in just a second, okay? Yeah. yeah that's Yeah, all right. Uh, we will commune today here at the head of the aisle, form a single line down the aisle, come up to receive the bread from uh, one of us, the wine from another person. If you require grape juice instead of wine, let us know. It will be on the altar and we will bring it to you. And then go back to your pew down one of the side aisles. Okay? Uh, and we are glad that he has been able to serve as our custodian. He has done an excellent job. In fact, let's give him a hand. He will be the last one to lock up the church at the close of this service. This is the closing of St. John's. <clears throat> if there are no other announcements to be made, then we will begin with our opening hymn, Let Us Stand.
comfort and defend us, gracious Lord. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and peace to God's people on earth. Shelter, drink, 
the necessities of life. And here's Jesus saying, don't worry about those necessities of life, because God will provide. St. John's has seen quite this many people here in church at one time in a long time. And, and it's a statement, I think, of the fact that we as a synod, as a church body, do everything together. And even as we are mourning the death and the loss of the congregation within the synod, we as people of God do that together. In the Easter season, the resurrection is a reminder that from death comes life, as Mark said in his sermon. And as I was sitting in the pew and looking behind, or looking behind me here, but at the picture in the wall and, and the back, is a reminder that no matter where we go, Jesus walks with us. And as the folks of St. John's walk out of this building today, it does not mean that you have suddenly died and ended. Jesus continues to walk with you. And if you read the words over the top, it says, Lo, I am with you always. And that means not only when you're here in the church, but when you're out in the street and whenever you go from here. So as people of God, as resurrection people, we recognize that we do walk together and that together the lives will be changed. Thank you for the attention, the invitation to attend and participate in the service. My wife and I are planning to attend the 3 p.m. liturgy on March 30th. Are you here, Bill? No, he wasn't able to come. Was able to come, okay. For a few years now, I've been physically handicapped. I can walk with a cane, but I cannot do stairs without assistance. For these reasons, I'm sure that you can understand that I do not desire to participate in any way. Miller, uh, he served here from 1965 to 1972. Dear friends at St. John's Lutheran Church in Hudson, New York, we greet you 